Dreadful Dainty Dips. I'm Lindsay. If you're new here, hey, hello, and welcome to the Dreadful Family. I apologize for all of this mess. Um, I am not feeling too shabby today and a lot of bit under the weather, but I've had a lot of people ask about when I was going to put out the full dip version using dip powders and dip liquids of the double ombre French trend. So I am still going to do that for you guys, but instead of recording it today because I'm not really feeling it, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull some clips from the Facebook Live that I did, uh, I think last week, and it, I still go over it all in detail, but yeah, so I'm going to pull some clips for you guys so that y'all don't have to worry and y'all don't have to wait on me, um, but I do appreciate each and every one of you guys for following my nail journey, um, it's been something special, and if y'all didn't see, we hit 500, what? like yeah it's it's pretty cool I didn't see it going anywhere um, all I really love to do is just help everybody you know if I see something out there trending I immediately am like how can I do it in a dip powder version so that's what we're kind of doing here and I appreciate each I appreciate each and every one of you guys and um, yeah, so we're going to do a big giveaway, so y'all stay tuned for that, um, and I will get all of the stuff together, and I will post it as soon as I can, probably on my Instagram. I'll do a video here letting y'all know when it's going to go down. Lots of prizes. I've had lots of companies already messaging me that they want to join the fun, and they're super excited that we've hit 500. It's such a great milestone, no matter how big or small, so... I am super grateful for each and every one of you, and thank you guys so, so much. Um, but yeah, so, okay, so stay tuned for the all dip powder version of the double ombre French trend, and then stay tuned after that because I have another video coming up of a new haunted collection by another company that I am super excited to tell you guys about. All right, so until next time, bye. All right, so let's get into the full dip version of the double ombre French. Okay, so we're gonna be using our odorless dip liquids. So unlike gel, it does not cure until you stick it in the lamp, so you have plenty of time to play. With our odorless dip liquids, they do have a longer working time, but it doesn't last us forever, okay? So you wanna make sure you have all of your items next to you and you're ready to rock and roll. So you're gonna need your nails or your press-ons, <laughs> um, two different dip powders, some nail brushes for because we're going to ombre so we're going to dust over or tap over our dip powders onto our nail and your odorless liquids or a slow drying dip liquid of your choice all right so we're going to do pretty much the same thing as like our gel method except just with dip liquids so we're going to start out gently tapping on one of our colors again i like to go from the outside in when i'm doing an ombre and I like to take my brush when I dip it into the jar. I usually do, you know, a tap off into the jar to get most of that powder off into the jar because if you kind of take that brush and you go on top of that nail with it and then you go to do your first tap, a lot of that dip powder is going to fall out and you, it might go somewhere that we don't want it to go. So, alrighty, so let's go to our next color. Again, same thing. We're going to go lightly from the outside towards our middle and our middle is where we're wanting to ombre to blend those colors the best that we can because unlike gel polish you know gel polish they can get a really good blend on that but we got to work a little bit harder when it comes to dip powder okay and i like to go with my colors a little bit more past halfway um, that just kind of helps me get the blend a little bit better than having that harsh line where that dip powder is wanting to stick to those dip liquids. And here I'm just explaining in that live um, that we know we're trying to get that blend. It's all about that blend for that optical illusion. Okay, we still have a little bit more time to play because again, these are dip odorless dip liquids. So they take a little bit of time to dry, but I'm liking this. Okay, and so we're going to let that dry for uh, maybe like a minute, if that. And you do not want to go in there with a harsh, stiff nail brush unless it is dry. Okay, make sure, you know, give it a tap with your finger. 
you know, kind of take your brush on there and see, um, you know, if you drag that dip powder off, that could be a problem. <laughs> and that's a problem that I've come across using odorless dip liquids. So I like to go in with a fluffy brush, you know, give it a little dusty dust, and then we are back to going at our ombre. So this time I'm going to start with the opposite color that I started with at the beginning. So I'm going to start with my green this time and then go in with my yellow and I'm going to take that green a little bit more over, you know, past halfway and then my yellow again, the same thing, if that makes sense. And I do show two colors here on the screen, but that's because I was doing two different nails in the Facebook live. Um, but for this clip, I'm just showing you the yellow and green version. And then, yeah, so you can, take this whole method and do what you will with it or you know maybe you can come up with something different on how to do it um, like the whole process I mean please go and try it because we don't have to just use gels and that's that's the beauty of this video <laughs> so it can be done with dip powder it can be done okay so we're taking our green by the way this is Billy by color my world dips and the yellow is siren by cn designer dips i will leave everything in the box below all right and that green is covering beautifully All right, now it's time to go in with our yellow and see how much working time you have with the odorless. Like I'm doing this in real time. Nothing is sped up here. Can y'all hear the rain in the background? It's so crazy. It's like storming here today. I love the rain. Do y'all love the rain? Like a good little thunderstorm, you know, nothing dangerous weather, no, <laughs> no hail or tornadoes or anything. Just a good old, good old rainstorm. I love it. Okay, so we did two layers. Now it's time to, I'm going to go in and buff. Okay, I did not activate this yet. I'm lightly buffing because I want a smooth surface for my nail sticker. Okay, so I'm just trying to blend the roughness down a little bit because when we go to lay our sticker down, we don't want our liquids to seep under, up underneath our sticker. <laughs> I am just so tongue tied here lately. Okay, so just trying to get that just as smooth as we can. We're not trying to take off any color. Okay. All right, now it's time to grab our little sticker. You can do whatever little design that you want. There's like three different ones on this um, little sheet here, kind of like a chevron, a little funky uh, smile line kind of thing, and then your natural curve. I don't know what to call it. They come in all kinds of different designs, but... Okay, so I'm looking at the bottom of this sticker because that's where my French tip's going to start. And I'm going to line it up wherever you so choose to um, do your nail bed. Um, whatever you like. You can do elongated or short. And stick that puppy down. And okay, so now it's time to do our ombre all over again, but our opposite. So on top of our yellow, we're going to do our green. And on top of our green, we're going to do our yellow. So same thing. We're going to make sure we're getting everything nice and blended okay and since we're just doing a little area I'm gonna brush off most of that liquid back into my bottle all right and now we're gonna start in the middle of our nail sticker we're gonna try to stay below the sticker don't go above it because then our powder is gonna get way up there where we don't want it all right give everything a nice thin coat Try to pull your brush down away from your sticker because if you shove it back up towards your sticker, there's a chance that you might not get that crisp line because your liquids have kind of, you know, seeped or bled up underneath your sticker. All right, so I'm not going to look at this bottom part underneath the sticker <laughs> or I guess like where the nail bed would be here on our little press on. I'm looking at the top of my nail. Okay, so I know if it's yellow or, you know, our lighter color, we're going to go over it with our darker color and vice versa. So when we get to the green side, we're going to cover it with our yellow. All right, so same thing. So I'll be back. I'll just let y'all watch how I do the French tip here and then we'll be back for our our sticker reveal
Okay, so we did two full coats. Now let's go ahead and peel our sticker off and see what we got. All right, and then once our sticker's off, so now you can decide if you want to like kind of like buff the tip so that it's smooth or if your powders are awesome and they're nice and buttery and they're not lumpy and bumpy, then you can decide whether you want to totally activate the nail or if you want to do one more coat and clear cap. Okay, totally up to you. I do not clear cap in this one, but I am going to activate and then kind of give everything one last little buff. All right, so I'm gonna hit that nail with a little bit of activator. And then now, now is the time, unless you're gonna do your clear cap, um, that you can do like your sharpen up your shape, go in there with your file, hit those side walls, your free edge, make sure everything's all nice how you would like it. Um, do some buffing if you so choose. And then we're gonna top coat with our odorless top coat or a regular dip top coat. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you would like to do this matte and you don't have a gel allergy um, you can activate do your filing and buffing and then top coat with your matte top coat and you're done so what did you guys think of the all dip version do we need any more versions please let me know and if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe until next time bye